Sarah and Michael Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Uh, congratulations again on your 2020 Toyota Prado. Uh, i got some great news. It's all finally finished and ready to go. Uh, just waiting on that final uh, settlement to, to come through and we're all set to, for it to um, be trucked down to you guys. Uh, obviously, a bit of an idea who we are. So Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. I'm currently standing at uh, 235 Mulgrave Road. You can see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there. Um, obviously, all our, we're literally jam-packed here at the moment. Uh, obviously, all our used car department there, service apartments down the road. And we've got another yard up at uh, 77 Mulgrave as well. So, absolutely awesome cars just like yours here. Uh, I thought I'd just do a little video, um, take you guys through it, a bit of a look around it. Um, obviously, no damage to the roof or anything like that. We don't touch hail damaged cars or anything like that as well. I uh, can't see any chips or anything through the windscreen. Looking pretty tidy there too. Same thing across the bonnet, looking pretty good. There. It's just come back from the details. I did get them to do a couple touch-ups for you as well because I know there was those little stone chips that I mentioned so I like those that sort of ones there so I did get them to just go through and touch up everything as well so the beauty of having the white Prado is you can touch these ones up so again just little ones through there I'm not sure if you can see them again the only mark I could find on the whole car was just that one little um, stone mark there that's been pushed in but the like I said just a couple little tiny stone chips but I got the guys to, to touch those up for you so they're all sealed off like that there as well so same thing but very tidy through the rest so the brand new tires on the front these are the ones that got swapped over at the tire shop bit of a look through the inside there for the shockies and that so currently just one key with this one it's obviously working perfectly fine uh, sometimes we, uh, we do get lucky with the spare keys and they hand them in later on. So if we do get a spare key, I will be letting you know and I'll probably I'll post it down to you. Very tidy on the actual rims themselves. Looking very clean through there. See down the passenger side of the car, all the side steps and everything in there as well. So keyless entry on these guys, you've got these two little lines on the front of the car, so you push that in, push those in, that's gonna lock it. As soon as we come away, come back, you simply put your hand on the inside there, and it's gonna unlock it for us as well. With that keyless entry. See electric windows. Little tiny little mark there, I'd say from somebody's ring or something like that. But very clean through the inside here. Same thing across the dash. All your service books, manuals, everything's all on the inside here. So excellent service history from all from down south, from your direction, funnily enough. Uh, so 2022 first service, 16,000 kilometers. So next service, 2022, 30,000 Ks. And then last service, 2023 at 45,000 Ks. So not due again until about 65,000 Ks or December, end of December next year. So fantastic service history there for you. Very tidy through the inside. Through that side as well. That lighter interior with the roofing. All the lights working down the back there for you too. Uh, all the aircon vents, drop down handles through to the back. And same thing up this side here as well. And down through those seats. So you're building plates, everything like that are all just there for you too. Just heading down the... Uh... So you got your um, child locks on both these rear doors there too. That's just a little bit of dust. Looking pretty tidy through this side. Little tiny little markings, like little scuffs there, just from people sort of catching their shoes, jumping in and out. Same thing, little one there. But other than that, very, very tidy. Uh, Aircon controls, everything through the back as well. It's got your little argument separated there in the middle with the cup holders in that there too. Adjustable seat belts on both these rows and the, the uh, front ones as well. And obviously, a little handle there to drop these guys all the way down, giving you the child locks on the back. So that little handle is going to do the same thing for the people sitting in this third row. And then obviously access into that back third row there as well. So those guys simply lift up, you pull that handle, that's going to come up as well and sit up just like that one. So I'll show you from the back in just a sec when we get around there. I'll try and give you a look over the roof. So a few elements obviously here on the passenger side as well. A little tiny little chip just down there in the center. Not too bad though. 
still stacks of trailer left on the back tyres as well. Rear parking sensors all across the rear here. Keyless entry on the, on the rear door there too, so you can lock and unlock it from here. As long as the keys are in your pocket. Uh, tiny little bits of wear just on the inside. I'd say something's just sort of gently rubbed up against it. Uh, we've got a little lock there too, so it's a pretty heavy door. So if you're on slopes or anything like that, you can lock that into place to stop it coming back on you. You've got the 100 watt, 220 volt uh, inverter just there. They come factory. All tight end points all through the back here as well. Little jacks just on the inside there. And then all your tool kits. So a little storage on that side. But tool kits are all on this one. So everything's all through there for you. So like I said, you can drop these seats down like that with that handle or pull them back up into place and then you simply pull that seat out from there and that'll come out into place as well tiny little bit of wear just against that wheel arch i just noticed as well um, nothing too bad and same thing these just click up into place as well so the seats come out from the inside there keep heading around close that one up This wheel as well on the back. Game, plenty of tread left in there. Same sort of little marks down the bottom there as well, just up the side. So that little handle there is going to bring that forward. So you've got this on both sides too. I'll bring that forward. You can then grab the little slide anchor, uh, the one rail under there. So you're going to bring that one forward, giving you access into the back. You'll be able to open and jump into those seats and everything as well. Otherwise, it's all adjustable from down the bottom as well. So full controls all from the back here. Tiny little couple, like I said, just a couple little stone joints all around the joint. Oh, sorry, not even all around the joint, but just a few little stone chips here and there. But nothing too bad at all. Little marks there, game from people's rings or watches or something like that. Master controls all up on the driver's side, so it's central locking, all your window controls, everything there too. Uh, height adjustment here for the driver's seat. So bonnet release is just there, fuel release is right next to it. Um, we've got automatic high beam for these guys, all your DPF um, recalls have been done as well, that's the little button for you too. Mirror controls are all up on the side here, and of course your engine starts stop. So we're gonna jump in, get this one going for you. So foot on the brake, push that one in. Up and get some aircon going because it's pretty hot out there. All right, it's only 46,056 kilometers as it sits right now. Full tank of fuel, which is even better for you guys. Uh, you got a little sign map, uh, signage reading technology there, so it reads the signs and tells you what speedo it is and what zones as you go past them. Uh, obviously, all your speedo controls and everything um, down the bottom. Uh, you got all these pages buttons and everything from the controls on the right hand side, so that's going to go through these different menus. Uh, so we can sit there and go through all your average fuels, all the um, current uh, readings of like where your uh, wheels are facing, which is the best thing for full driving. Uh, compasses, radio stuff, technology, like everything that's um, your, your safety settings and then all the uh, notifications and that kind of stuff as well, all through control from the driver's side here as well. So headlights have got an automatic, uh, normally control from here, sorry, so parkers, high beam, everything like that like normal, but the high beam themselves have got the uh, automatic control down the bottom there too. Wipers are all up on the left, they got automatic settings there as well. Volume controls, radio, Bluetooth, everything from all up here as well. Cruise control down the back, lane departure and all your adaptive cruise control there as well. Uh, massive big touchscreen display here. Reverse camera tucked in the back, so once you, uh, if you ever put a tow bar in there, you'll be actually see that uh, the tongue in the back as well. So it makes it really easy for back into trailers and stuff like that. Otherwise, this little home button is going to bring you to this screen every single time. So we can jump straight to the radio, uh, connecting to your phone calls, um, text messages, all that sort of stuff. And of course, we can jump straight into the sat nav there as well. So it works just like your phone and everything there too. Um, you can go through and search all the um, addresses and keep home, uh, save home addresses and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, little menu button there is probably the second most common one you use, so you can jump straight into the sat nav stuff, straight into the audio side of things, uh, straight into your phone calls, and then obviously your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto through there as well. Fan speed down the bottom, temperatures on the left and the right, all your AC controls and everything there as well. Uh, plenty of storage up there, cup holders down the bottom, all your four-wheel drive controls down here, obviously being the constant four-wheel drive, and uh, so you flick it into uh, high-low. 
Second start, from, starting from second gear, you're centering your rear diff locks and your downhill descent is basically cruise control for coming down hills or control down there as well. There's blank switches all around the joint, uh, so if you want to put in spotlights, uh, you know, light bars, anything like that, uh, you've got plenty of blank switches to do so. Um, or your um, parking sensors are in the outside, you can turn them on and off in there too. Real handbrake, the gear stick obviously with the uh, sports shift there as well. USB ports and everything down the bottom there too. Plenty of storage through the inside there and obviously ventilated as well. So very tidy through the inside here. Like I said, you've got drop down handles uh, the whole way around, including the driver's side. Uh, best thing about these visors, they give you that little extension there as well. So it covers that little spot that the visors don't quite reach. Uh, we got the mirror in the back of the head, so good for uh, kids and that sort of thing. And all on the driver's side there too, so automatic uh, lights for those as well. And like I said, not due for another service until about 55,000 Ks, or the 30th of December 2023, so this year. So um, plenty of time left on that one. Now I did quickly pop that bonnet, so I just want to quickly show you under there as well before we finish up. So that's just beeping to let me know that obviously the um, car is still running. I've got the keys in my pocket, just so you don't forget. Got through the engine bay there as well. The battery wall on the right hand side. One of the few cars that still come with room to put a battery on the left hand side. All your fluids and everything on the outside there too. So guys, congratulations again. Uh, thank you so much for, for choosing us. You guys have been an absolute pleasure. And um, yeah, I'll be in touch as, uh, as soon as we get the uh, final payment. And um, once we start getting the truck and everything, we'll want us as well. Look forward to hearing from you soon.